All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to uh, take apart and put back together the bolt assembly for an AR-15. As you can tell, this one is gold, and the reason why is it is titanium that is gold-plated. I got it at uh, Midway USA. I think it was about $185. I went ahead and got the whole assembly in uh, titanium. It's supposed to uh, last longer and less friction while shooting. I was a little hesitant on whether or not this would actually be true, but um, I have found it to be true. And come to find out, this has actually been worth every penny that I got in it. Right now I have it in my AR-15 uh, with a 24-inch chrome barrel, so I'm using it for long shooting. And I shoot quite a few 223 rounds out of it. And the other nice thing about it is you can really tell where it's dirty. Which is nice because there are particular areas that um, have more buildup than other, other areas. And it being this color, I can uh, point those out and also uh, pick up on those when I'm cleaning. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this pin out. It's good uh, to go ahead and have some extra one of these in your range bag if you're going to be out shooting, whether it's just shooting for the day or competition shooting or drills. Uh, these often do break, so it's good to have some extra. Go ahead and slide the firing pin out. You always want to make sure that the uh, tip is in good shape. Overall, the whole thing is in shape. Uh, speaking of problem areas of buildup, it will be right around in here uh, for carbon, so it's nice to be able to see that. Then what we're going to do is you're going to take this bolt here, and we're going to turn it, and we're going to pop it out. Again, uh, this is a common area of, for wear and tear. It's actually worn some of the gold plating off of it, and it's also good to have some extra uh, of these bolts available. Go ahead and pull this out. Now, normally, when you're just doing a simple field stripping of your weapon, this is as far down as you're going to go. You're going to use whatever cleaning uh, solution works best for you. Um, I've been doing pre-soak with uh, Safari Charlie's spray on and then I have the ultrasonic cleaner that I clean all my gun parts in and uh, then I just do the difficult areas uh, using either some more of the Safari Charlie's or hops number nine with a brush. Um, you'll see that this area right here is worn uh, this is a very common carbon buildup area. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to completely take this apart. I usually only do it about every two to three times, depending on how many rounds I put through. So I'll take a punch. This is a 1 8 inch punch. Pull out the pin. Make sure you don't lose it. Again, another nice extra parts to have. And then Go ahead and inspect the spring to make sure that it's in good shape and just clean it up. That way you can clean up this area. And as you can see, I need to take a Q-tip or um, the uh, pipe cleaners and go ahead and clean that out so it's completely clean. Because as much as I love my ultrasonic cleaner, there are certain areas that it just doesn't quite get 100%. Inspect your rings to make sure that they're in good working order. And then... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. And there's a small spring that when you're putting this portion back together, you have to make sure that you press it down. There we go, we've gotta put quite a bit of pressure on it, as you can see. And for those that don't have really strong hands, this could be cumbersome. All right, now what we're going to do is go ahead and slide this in, apply just a little bit of pressure right at that point just to get past those rings. Take your bolt, slide it in. You're going to be 
doing every step but backwards from the way that you took it apart. So if you ever get confused, besides going on YouTube and looking for how to do it, you can just remember how you took it apart and then just do it backwards. I just slid the uh, firing pin in because the hole in this bolt is now this way. And then you put the cotta pin in. And sometimes it'll get a little stuck. If the firing pin is not quite all the way back. And go ahead and slide it in just like that. And you've now put it back together. Now, of course, to put it back into the weapon, you'll have to turn it up like this because if you try to slide it in, um, this is going to catch. So if you're ever, after you put it back together, you're trying to put it back in your gun and it's not going, don't force it. Look at it and see that this is not flush on this side. So what you do is just pull this out and it'll slide right back in with your charging handle being attached to this area right here. Okay, so it's always good to have spare parts and also if you're going to get a new uh, bolt carrier assembly or if you have a new AR-15 with new parts, this I actually, we really had to take it out and soak it like more than you normally would uh, oil it and after I did that then I didn't have any more problems with it so before I put it into the uh, to the weapon what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of oil right along here right along this edge right here and then right along this edge right here I'll put some basically on the flat areas that there is metal to metal movement and then you're good to go so there it is, is the AR platform period for the first time this can be intimidating but don't bother you know don't worry about it because just remember if you take it apart you put it back the way that it came but just backwards and you just do a field stripping every time you're done with your uh, shooting for the day you want to make sure that you clean this your barrel and the chamber going into the barrel uh, if not, then what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have misfires, you're going to have double fires. It's a common error at the range. And um, so I hope this helped, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.